fall prevention strategies. What I find interesting here, we always look at home safety modifications, and this is in people with severe osteoporosis. Someone in my category with osteopenia, and I, I still move very well, you don't have to worry about it as much. But if you know of someone who has difficulty with their vision or hearing, make sure that they're getting those checked regularly. The way they can adapt their home is having grab bars in the um, shower, having removing tripping hazards like um, throw rugs or rugs that can go out from under you. Improve your lighting uh, throughout your house. Footwear, make sure you're wearing good supportive shoes. Get rid of the high heels. <laughs> they just are not good for your feet in any which way and they're horrible for your balance. And then the assistive devices, if people need canes or walkers. The lifestyle modifications, we talked about dietary, but lifestyle would be stop smoking, moderate alcohol, one glass of wine per day for women, up to two for men or the equivalent in beer or hard alcohol and you need to google to get those guidelines it would be one beer a day for uh, women two beers a day for men uh, hard alcohol is two ounces of a hard alcohol per day for women four ounces for men uh, maintaining a healthy body weight this is where you don't want to be too skinny if you're too thin that actually causes bone loss so hopefully that helps